Does today's new album have what it takes to get into our collection in our library? I'm going to torture this one, kick it, slam it to the ground to find out if it has what it takes. I'm going to warn you right now, this could get really ugly. Let's go to the scorecards. Terry here again, guiding metal music wizards like you on the quest for more metal music. I cover everything in metal. My reviews test drive, analyze, and break down the newest extreme releases from my weekly charts so you get the best new metal every day. And afterwards, I'll pair today's album up with another extreme pick for you to add to your collection because you love getting more new metal music, right? Well, today's review album is Defectum Omnium by X Hoarder. And it's the band's latest album up for a fresh red line review. Let's go ahead and break this one down. In Apple Music, I open the band's page to see that there are 12 massive sounding tracks totaling a huge 54 minutes. The album cover artwork, as you can see, is a thought provoking black and white with custom and standard fonts. Thanks to the artist, I had no problems picking this one out for review from the entire batch. They classify themselves in Apple Music as only metal. Between that, the album cover artwork, the song titles, and a quick sound check, I'm going to visualize something pretty powerful. My genre description before I started the review is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of death or black metal, but we'll see if that changes in the end during my reveal. Track one opens with a massive amount of grunt, range, and kick. It's got huge guitar riffs, rhythms, and insanely good vocals. Bass and percussion sound is sweet all the way through. Track two is a fireball of super hot shifts in tempo, depth, and just hair-raising rhythm. This particular track is super hot. Track three is like a hurricane. It's big, clean, and loud power and thrash metal delight. And actually, I'm speechless at this point. This is a really good album. It's shaping up to be. Track four is a hot, steady, slower power tune with a huge range and such amazing guitar solo work. Wait till you hear track four. Track five returns to that heavy galloping rhythm with huge twists and turns in every riff. Nice, simple, scorching, killer thrash metal here. Rest of the album was outstanding. There's not a single dud in the entire batch. The whole 12 tracks are just smoking. Molten, slashing, fighter jet speed metal. And I'm thinking, crap, where have I been? In summary, I absolutely love this album. The live show must be outstanding. This is a must-hear album, and I'm going to give kudos right now to X Hoarder for some really tremendous work here. The recording and sound quality was professional and clean, and production and musicality was very raw, in my opinion. Very youthful, too. I'm going to rate the overall levels of rhythm and tempo as on the higher side, in the 6 to 7 or even a 7 plus intensity range, while the harmonies and melodies... They were midway to level four and five range of presence in this album, too. I find that the lyrical theme here, it's biblical, I would say. Looking at the lyrics and becoming a mainstream or radio act here is, I don't think it's a possibility. I think that they belong to the metal underworld forever. Range flow and layout of this album is consistent in the tracks are arranged meticulously. This band, X Hoarder, they know how to arrange stuff for sure. They know what they want. I'm going to describe the vocals as intense and fiery while the guitar work is dialed in massively with scorching riffs, rhythms, and melodies, while the bass section was massive and deep, and finally the drums and percussion performance was rangy, full of snap from top to bottom, and slamming all the way through. Overall, the energy here and intensity is massive. They remind me of a combination of Meshuggah, Pantera, the early big four, but their own unique sound, if you know what I mean. Temperature rating here is blowtorch hot. 
with a dark tonality feel while the overall color or colors I'm going to personally describe as red as in red hot. The, does the album art match the feel of the music? Well, quite frankly, I was steering toward black metal by the look of the cover, but I was off. That's what led me to my early prediction. General feeling I had during this session, it was a white knuckle electric ride. It led me to give this album a huge seismic reading of 8.6 on my Richter scale. And I'm going to say that this is going to be great music for the daily walk with the earphones on, get some fresh air. My reveal at this time, my predictions from earlier were absolutely bunk. I was off point here. I did say death and black metal and I'm thinking, yeah, right. This is not. Uh, my genre description now, it's going to be thrash and or power metal. But the official bio says groove and thrash, which means I was kind of halfway there. My favorite tracks, they were all on point, but I'm going to pick number nine and 10 and I'll make better decisions on another day. Finally, I decided that this one here has gone into my library already. And lastly, everybody, stream them for yourself just to find out if they are for you. And that's it for another episode of Red Line Reviews. I'm going to dig into my treasure chest and recommend Depths by Aborea just for you. This is a pretty good match right here. This is just to say thanks for hanging out with me today. And a recap yesterday during episode 92. Actually, that was from two days ago. I reviewed Cosmic Cult by Parcel Tongue, And I added Cyber Strictive by Apogean. Not a bad match here from my secret stash at the end. And hey, that is four albums in seven minutes, everybody. Hey, there we go. There's our four albums. Anyway, see that last episode and stream them for yourself to see if they are for you. And lastly, you know what? You have the power to support all the metal artists, okay? Stream them, engage them, buy the merch, engage them on social, and see them live if you have the bucks to do so. And please do join me again soon for another episode of Redline. Finally, please hit that subscribe button. Get notified so you can get some new albums here first. We will see you guys later. Cheers and have a good one.